I know I said I was going to upload a video years ago, but here I am, uploading. Um, yeah, hopefully you like this video. Um, you're probably like, where is she right now? Well, the answer to that is um, Paris. <laughs> You see it? That's the Eiffel Tower right there. I was trying to work, you know, a metro. I was trying to get on a metro and it wouldn't work and I didn't know what to do and I was just panicking for a good 20 minutes and then I had to like observe everyone. I'm like, why isn't it working for me? I'm so happy. I'm at a train right now, like subway. This is home to me. I get this. I understand this. The only thing I understand. I keep making excuses like I'm from New York. My bad. Crossing the street without actually looking. I'm just like, sorry, I cross. That's how we do it. I'm I'm at a hotel. I went to bed first. I was like, I'm cold. I opened the the windows. And I was like, oh, I'm cold now. So I put on my pajamas and I like went like that. I didn't want to get up. And I was like, it's too early for me to sleep. So I can't go to sleep yet. And I needed to eat because I only had pretzels today. So what I did was take a shower because I had a long day and I needed to take a shower. And I was trying to find a place to eat that was cheap and took a credit card. I didn't want to eat at a restaurant because I wasn't in the mood, but I just wanted to have something grab and go. Literally like almost every single place here did not take credit cards. I tried and walked around and around to find a place that took a credit card and then realized that none of them do. So I tried to find a bank they had an ATM outside, which my parents told me not to do. And I'm like, this is the one thing they told me not to do. I ended up going a different way, uh, looking for another place to eat. I went in to this place. No, I passed it. And then I saw this lady using a credit card. I'm like, okay, going in. And I grabbed some snacks. And I'm actually really excited about these. The cashier, he was super nice. He was helpful. He spoke English. And I was thankful because a lot of people here don't know English. So it's hard for me to communicate with people. I'm like, I don't want to be rude. I feel like I have to keep saying sorry. And I don't know if they know what that means. Um, but yeah, I was talking to the cashier and saying that I couldn't find a bank. His coworker friend person human he knew where to find another one like it was like a it was like a three minute walk or something i i was like i don't even know where to find this i'm like i'm looking right at it and i'm like i don't know where i could where is this should i go another block and i'm like wait a minute is that a bank <laughs> i i got cash finally and then i was gonna go to the bakery that i saw earlier um because i saw like some like I don't know, like chocolate bread thing and it looks so good. But I was like, you know what? No, I already have my cookies, right? So I'll probably get a croissant or something in the morning, tomorrow morning. And I thought that was a good idea. So yeah, that was my day. My day since I got here, pretty much. I kind of just chilled when I got here. I didn't do much. Well, I'm gonna try this and I'm really excited. I hope they're like French. Oh, it says it's spelled, right, it says France right on it. This doesn't look like the packaging, like the like the picture on the packaging. 
but I don't care. We care about the inside, not the out. Oh, this is cherry. I didn't know that. This is good. This tastes kind of like one of those Italian cookies. I like them a lot. And the other one, though. Crepe. Caramel. Those are the only two words I understood. And I'm like, that sounds great. So, I'm going to try it too. Yo, the water here, though. I don't know any of the companies. And I'm like, I don't know if this is even water. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I hope it's closed because I don't want to spill away my bed. So this crepe thing. Oh, it's hard. These are good. The taste of caramel is like, you can barely taste it, but it's there. You can taste it, but it's like... Not very strong, but the the cracker part, it's like a cone, that's what it is, like an ice cream cone. The markets that I went into had tons of cookies and there were so many like good, like crazy flavors. I'm like, ooh, I want to try it, but they didn't take credit cards, so huh, look at me, cookie lists, or those cookie lists, because I do got cookies, but not those specific cookies, you know? I'm awful at this. I saw the Eiffel Tower again. Um, I don't think you can see it from here, but... Like, I'm here. This is so crazy. It's too... I, I don't know how to react to this at all. I'm just like, oh, I'm getting there. Then when I get there, I'm like, huh. This is so weird. The way I process things. The iPhone is right there. So I have a ticket for the news. Museum. I saw the Eiffel Tower from there, so I figured I might as well walk and find a place where I can get a good picture. I have plenty of time to kill. And I was walking and I found... It's pretty cool. After the museum, I try to find this bookstore. I'm lost. I don't know where this bookstore is. So I want to just go straight to the Eiffel Tower and I can't find it. I'm like looking up. I don't see it. So here I am at some random park. So I was sitting at the park for a while and I didn't realize that the people like sitting behind me were speaking Spanish. I was so thankful <laughs> they helped me and I'm heading towards the bookstore right now slash Notre Dame and they were Chilean too so that's, that's crazy. Um, I was so happy because they spoke both English and Spanish and I was like great thank you for existing and being here at the same time I was supposed to be here. Thank you. So I'm heading there now. One of the people that I was talking to was like, yeah, it's over the river. And I'm like, where's the river? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Tell me. Let's go. I thought I was going to get lost again, but I found a bigger map with the street names and I found the street that I'm supposed to 
go to. So, bookstore, here we go. I just had a whole ham and cheese, and I'm about to buy some more bread. Because I saw it yesterday and I wanted it this morning, and I didn't have it this morning. So now I'm gonna go buy some and just hope that I want it eventually, or I'll just eat it anyway. Who cares? This is really good. I'm glad I bought this. I would have done this with my phone, but my phone died. I'm gonna continue eating this and I'm almost at my hotel. Bye. There's a market next door, my hotel. And I got my water there last night. And the guy was very nice. He said the water that I was trying to get is a pound. I'm like, I don't know which one that is. And he showed me and he was like, this is a pound. And I'm like, okay, thank you. And then he takes out coins from the cash register and he's like, this is one, this is two, this is five. And show me all the coins and I'm like, okay. <laughs> we have like five, you know, they have like a lot. They have at least 15. <laughs> it's crazy. I tried to do that smoothly, it didn't work out. My bad. I don't know what happened to the videos when I first got to the Eiffel Tower. Um, but here are just some random pictures of me having a good time. <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite pictures. This is me being overly excited by the Eiffel Tower. And another picture of me being overly excited by the Eiffel Tower. Well, that's a basic one, I guess. That's me trying to be funny. <laughs> this picture is just sad. I ran out of ideas, really. And this is me eating a crepe in front of the Eiffel Tower. This is a picture of me where I got pooped on by a French pigeon moments before I went up the Eiffel Tower. Now back to the regular programming. Okay. Oh, I think we made it to the second floor of the Eiffel Tower. Let's see. Bless you. Thank you. Oh, I forgot. I'm in France. They say it differently. But he spoke English, so I guess that's okay. Now that I'm here, I keep thinking about uh, Rush Hour, the third movie, and the fight scenes and stuff. So I'm like, where did they fly off with the French flies? See you another time. I'm at this mallish type thing. And let me tell you right now, it's expensive. There's only like really big brands here. And I saw that there they had um this like macaroon place that I wanted to go but didn't. So I'm trying to find that right now. I wanted a scarf. I want something tacky though. This is not a great angle, I know that for a fact. Ooh, I found it! Found the macaroons, macarons, whatever. I found it. Yeah. Um, can I have that? How many pieces do you want? Three. Um, the vanilla. No, no, the other one. And the that one. Yeah. Now I saw that they have a bookstore and a gift shop. Oh, no, bookshop and stationery. That is what I'm interested in. Everything else. Just the terrace. Maybe like I can see a bit of something. I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw like online, online a long time ago that um, there's you can probably see the Eiffel Tower from up there, but I think it's like seasonal, so I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to see something or not. 
or if I can even enter. So we'll see. It's not like I just came from the Eiffel Tower. I should really be saving my money. I'm going to London tomorrow and then Barcelona, then Venice. So I got all these places to go and I shouldn't be spending all my money in one place. And I should spend my money wisely. Oh, I could totally go up to this. Oh, I could totally go up. I'm going after. Let's look at these things first, so. Ooh. Okay, you see, like, this is something I'd be totally into. This looks like a little, like, Urban Outfitters. But I can't spend my money. Oh my god, are those sushi? I'm going to move to the Eiffel Tower again to see it light up. I couldn't take it at the mall anymore, so I decided to come down here, but it's still bright outside, and that's my issue. I don't know when it gets dark or darker or when the lights go off, off, on, turn on. I don't know. I've been in, oh, that was close. I've been in France too long. I don't remember how to speak English. I've been talking to myself this whole time, so it's not like I can correct myself. Ooh, I'm also in on the street thinking it was a sidewalk. Okay. Anyway. So I'm walking there right now. And I'm gonna decide what to do from there. Yo, I'm excited. I'm gonna be chilling here until things happen. <laughs> Yo, it is getting lit. No, too close, too close. This is so crazy and I'm so happy that I stayed and got to see this. This is so amazing. I can't believe it. This is surreal. <laughs> now I'm crying. Now it hit me that I'm in Paris.